Chess friends, welcome back. Let's see if we can redeem ourselves from that last game. It seems like my games during the YouTube videos have been kind of uh, like brilliant move magnets from the opponent. Not really sure what to make of that. A lot of people have suggested, before I next make the next move, a lot of people have suggested playing the Karakhan as black. I believe that's uh, goes e5 and then pushing a pawn to d6, if I'm not mistaken. Um, that's going to be sort of on my chess honeydew list to figure that out. I don't quite want to try playing um, a, what do you call it, a mystery opening as black. So I'll just stick to what I know. Okay. Is he just going to go for the really early castle or something like that? Hum, 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 hum. Could always just try to trade knights off really early. Hmm. Could always push, what, d... d5? Couldn't I go for an early d5 here? Could go for an early e4 attack as well. I feel like I have options here. <clears throat> I'm just going to push d5. I feel like he's kind of giving me space in the center. So, I have two attackers here. Might as well just go for it. What can he really do? Hmm. See, I can either try to kick his knight or capture the pawn, hope he takes the pawn. No, but then his knight's defending the queen. Well, let me think about this. I have, what, one, two, three attackers on d4. He really only has one defender. I think I'll just try to kick his knight. Okay, so he's kind of just pressuring me there. Interesting move. Could always go b4. Put him into check. He'll be forced. He'll either be forced to put his knight back to c3 or push his pawn to c3. But then I can always... Can we just take the knight or take the pawn? His knight's on a really bad spot on a4 there. This seems like a good move. Mm, okay. Mm, go for the trade. Kind of failed to recognize that he could just block that in. Go for the trade. Um, I'm kind of in the mood to just simplify games. So there is an early attack or early pawn push rather on b5 here. I need to consider castling at some point too. I'm considering sort of developing the light square bishop and then moving the knight, but it doesn't really have a good place to go to besides something like e7. But even that's not really a good spot. Oh, 
I'll just pressure his knight. He really only has, let's see, one viable square to go to. C5. Mm. Could just attack with the queen. And then he wouldn't have anywhere to go to. And I believe he would just be forced back to b3. Alright. Could always offer the exchange of knights here, but I don't love that idea. <clears throat> and see, if I go queen d6, what am I really losing? Can he attack d6? Don't believe he can attack d6. Bishop's guarding this diagonal. Yeah. This will just force him back. I hope. <laughs> it's good to have hope. <laughs> hope is good. If he goes back to d3, I have this really interesting possibility of going queen b4, offering the trade, getting my knight onto b4, and then following up with a fork and winning a rook. That's a possibility. Uh, he may just defend this with a pawn too. It's probably the more sensible idea for him. Reconnecting. Bruh. Okay, so he fell back. Oh, that was kind of weird, the reconnecting thing. So he fell back. I'm... I'm just, I'm going to initiate. Oh, I do have this attack on his knight, too. He could block that, though. That's the problem. Or I could just get my knight out onto b4. This seems really risky, but I just, I really like the idea of trying to win the rook here. He could, yeah, well, let's see. No, you know, I'm, I'm not going to go for that. I'm not going to go for that. It's too easy to block with the pawn. It's a really exciting idea, but I'm not going to go for it. It's a very exciting idea indeed. Now, I know the bishop is more valuable. But I feel like at this level, stacked pawns are also fine. Okay, what can we do here? So we are still even. Hmm. It's defended. Maybe it's just time to castle or something. I don't really see any threatening moves at the moment. I'll just castle. Whatever. Hmm.
Okay, so my queen is pinned here. No, my internet connection, bro. Yeah, maybe I should have just moved that pawn up. Bro, my internet. Why is my internet so bad right now? It's so weird. I just want to unpin my queen, really. But I need to defend my pieces while I'm doing it, so. I'm gonna attack his rook. Um, his rook is pretty menacing and threatening on a6 there, so he can have the pawn if he wants. I feel like just not pushing that pawn up was a blunder. Oh, man. Nice move by the opponent there. That is a bit of a bummer. I could attack his queen, too. Man, what, um, what an annoying move, huh? <laughs> well, I can double attack his queen. Um... What I'll do here is move back to e8. Oh my gosh, but he could take the pawn. I was thinking e8, attack the knight. I'm just going to go e8. This is sort of a double attack that he has to deal with. My internet, why are you reconnecting, bro? Oh, feels bad if I lose this game to internet, bro. Oh. Let me. Ugh. Feels bad. Refresh the page. What? Bro, chess.com, what's going on, dude? You guys saw that it was stuck in reconnecting. I, I made the move and it didn't register it. Feels bad. What can you do? So what I need to remember this game is that his bishop is x-raying my rook on a8 there. And as soon as this pawn moves, he will have eyes on it. Oh, bro. What is going on? Why? Oh, it's so frustrating. Oh, bruh. Hold on. Let me get some privacy really quick. Okay. Just to be clear. It's not an internet issue. <laughs> it's a chess.com problem. <laughs> I 
So yeah, like I was saying, his bishop does have eyes on Maruk. And my rook has not moved. Come on, chess.com. Really need you here. Oh. Um. That, that, that's... That's a move. Um, that's fine, man. You can have the pawn. I'd rather win the rook. It's fine. So he'll probably push his pawn next. And I need to be ready for that. So I think what I will do is just put the rook on the same file as the queen. No need to overthink this. I, I'm predicting a pawn push to attack the knight. Um, and then that is a bit of a trap because it would force me to take um, either like take with the queen. Um, but if I were to try to take with the queen and protect the knight from this pawn, he just gets a free rook. So we can't let that happen. If he pushes his pawn up to e5, I can always just go d5 with the knight. If he wants to trade the bishop for the knight, that's fine. That's protected. Totally fine. This website's killing me today. Okay, so he's looking to take the knight or the pawn. We do need to figure out how to defend that. I can't defend it with the queen, unfortunately. I want to avoid putting the queen on the same diagonal. Hmm. Maybe we just give him the knight. Maybe we just protect. I'll just protect with the, with the rook. Seems okay. Seems okay so far. Yeah, so I will be honest, this is my one pet peeve with 15-10 games. Is that the moves take a lot longer to make and sort of as we're waiting for the opponent to... Um, decide what they want to do we're sort of a uh, stuck in limbo waiting okay so um maybe he's just adding an attacker or a defender rather to his knight don't know if that was the best move but could always attack his queen on g4 that would be a bit forcing. Only downside is um, I don't have a great way to defend g4. I guess I could go d7, defend g4, if he decides to attack. Let's just see if there's any other possible decent moves here. There is this pawn push too, which is kind of interesting. And so it forces knight to move around. Also advances my pawns up the board, something I'm historically bad at doing. My uh, f8 rook is kind of in a bad spot. Okay, I think it's time to start hunting his queen. 
Um, this is pretty easy to defend. Um, let's see. I'll just attack his queen. You can have the rook if you want. Okay, so... Yeah, so this is a little bit of a pickle. Could potentially just start trying to go after his back rank. But how do I defend this? He's in a decent spot. He does just have checkmate. If I go h6, he just takes... He just takes the knight. Maybe d3 is kind of a punishing move. Hmm. This is a little bit awkward. He's obviously got checks, so I can't... Hmm. Well, first and foremost, I believe we just have to prevent mate, right? As unfortunate as that is. Let me think about this. So I'm losing a rook here no matter what. And then my queen's attack next. I believe I have to do this, right? So he wins a... He's probably going to go after... Um, he'd be kind of crazy not to take the rook and attack the queen in the same move. Feeling the pressure. Also, if he takes here, he does have this knight as well. So good, good couple of um, good couple of moves from him. Uh, I believe I'm just forced out to e4 to defend. Well, I can't really defend this knight, but and he has a free pawn here, so he is doing quite a bit of damage to me. I'm not gonna lie. I'd rather just defend the the g4 knight at this point. Yeah, and he does win the knight. Yeah, so he can take the knight. Now I can't retake his knight because he's defending. So, yeah, a couple of uh, menacing moves. I am seeing kind of a juicy move, though. If I go boom, boom, this will force him uh, essentially to just defend with his bishop. He has a lot of threats, obviously. Maybe I just attack his knight and then go for the trades, though. He is up quite a bit. Does he have a check anywhere, though? This is going to be like a hyper-aggressive play, but... Hmm. I don't want to attack his queen. I don't want to attack his queen with this piece. That's my main problem. Oh, man. Okay, this is either going to go really well or really poorly. I have not calculated this all the way through. Oh no. Oh no. Why? Why, man? <laughs> I feel so bad, bro. Yeah, he's just going to defend with his bishop, and then what? Maybe I can get my queen back here or something. Mm. 
This is uh, going to be a YOLO play. Could have defended my pawn on a7 there, but... Where did this game fall apart? Where did this game fall apart? When he got his knight onto, let's think. When he got his knight, sort of on my side of the board here. That was a bit problematic. I do have a chance to maybe make a passed pawn, but it's limb. Even that I can't really take. How do I get rid of these threats? That's the question. It's like I would have to get onto think gonna, no I can't attack his knight this way his rook is defending queen's defending knight's defending rook's defending everything is just defending it just feels so bad <laughs> oh man, I really got myself into hot water here. Maybe I'll just hope that he takes the pawn. He just takes the pawn or something here. He defends his knight. No, can't go e8. Maybe there's a chance to get my rook on the back rank and try to find something. Or even just get my rook onto like b2 or something. Just go this way. So he has check here, so he'll start moving around. And I can't defend that either. I can take the pawn. I'll go here and kind of pin his knight. He wants to take my pawn. Hmm. I do have a free pawn. No, I don't. Oh, now his knight's defending here. It's so frustrating. Oh, man, his knight is just, it's killing me. Well, oh, I can't even take free pieces. Maybe I go pin his bishop, take a pawn, try to get a pass pawn or something. Yeah, okay, so I did see that coming. Um, now, unfortunately, he has his rook on my back rank. If he puts his queen here, um, I'll start threatening his, um, his knight. He also... As like d7. I can't believe I'm losing on time on such a long time control game. Oh, well, that was just a fail, wasn't it? <laughs> Ugh, this game is really frustrating. <laughs> I feel like I'm just missing so many s simple things here. Maybe I'm not.
Um, man, his knight is just killing me. He's just going to get his pass pawn before me. I don't think he's going to move his rook off of this. Ugh. And I'm trapped this way. I didn't even notice that. Ugh. I went the wrong way with the with the king. I should have went around this way. Oh man. Well, maybe this is forced, huh? He'll probably take this pawn. He'll take the pawn on d4. Man, this is a really frustrating game, I'm not gonna lie. I don't see why he wouldn't take on d4 there. I'm just trying to figure out how this game fell apart. I think it fell apart. Interesting. Okay, so now he's defending. Um, well, this is good for me because I can potentially just get a queen here. Mm. Now he gets a queen if I go defend. I want him to remove the defender from this pass pawn here. I think we can just trade off pass pawns. There's a sliver of hope. It's it's very slim, but there, there's just a very small chance that he messes up. This should be a free pawn. Okay, so actually I'm I'm thinking thinking back on this game. Okay. Thinking back on this game and just trying to figure out sort of where it went wrong. Oh, man, I can't even Can't even get my King out. Defended. Yeah, so I believe the game fell apart. He wins a pawn. I believe the game fell apart when he got his rook onto a6 and I didn't push that pawn up. I think that's kind of where it started to go downhill. Um, yeah. Yeah, just not blocking in his rook from taking advantage of the open file just seemed like a blunder looking back on it now. Ugh, it's really frustrating. Ugh, I'm not gonna lie, I've been on like a four game losing streak and it's ugh, a little frustrating. But... That's chess, I guess. So he's blocked in. Mm. 
maybe there's some ch ants. <laughs> my brain just kind of fell apart after I lost my queen and he started delivering me checks, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> So I had some advantage in sort of the beginning of the middle game. And I threw it away with one move. Very on brand, very on brand. Let's take a look at where that happened. Okay, we were in this position here also. Yeah, okay, so this was a key position here. This was, I feel like, the beginning of the end for me. This is where his advantage start to climb, started to climb. So what did I do? So I castled here, right? But I kind of failed to realize that he had this tactic here, that he had the pin on the knight, and a6 was undefended. So I was thinking just pushing the pawn to a6, but it looks like the engine recommended a5. Uh, even though that looks a little bit menacing, he can get two pieces, the queen and the rook onto a5. I also had two defenders there. Okay, so that's fine. So that was probably the first big mistake. This definitely wasn't the time to castle. Yeah, this, this is a really good move. And the queen move was so bad, huh? You allowed the opponent to sacrifice a bishop for a nice tactic. Well, he didn't do that, but that's fine. Yeah, he didn't see the attack there. Um, and this is so bad. Let me see what the best move here would have been knight to d7 what would knight to d7 do i don't understand that knight to d7 what does that protect what does that do that's above my comprehension but the queen move was definitely not the play and then this was so bad too man knight b8 was bad i'm surprised mm. so he got the attack on the knight and that was really difficult to deal with yeah, this position was just, I don't know, for some reason, just so difficult to figure out what to do here. Yeah, so the queen move was forced. I moved it into an okay square, just not the best square. Hmm. Yeah, I just wanted to attack his knight. Um, I guess moving it onto the back rank was a bad idea because then it sort of um, disconnects the rook um, once the knight moves. So this was a blunder, huh? Why is that a blunder? Maybe I should have taken, taken his knight. So then that way this is protected at least with the queen. C6 is protected. Interesting. So the engine wants to attack his queen. Couldn't he just recapture though? And then what did that really gain? I mean, was that pawn sitting there really so bad? And now we want the knight to take his rook. Yeah. So I was expecting... Yeah, see, I was expecting here, I didn't want to put my queen on the same diagonal. So now his uh, knight is defended by the bishop. Hmm. 
This is such a blunder though. Interesting. Okay, let's go to the next sort of key frame. Yeah, so this was a really good move by him. I just was not sure how to go about defending this. And then, I don't know, I just figured the idea was to put pressure on his queen. But looks like the engine had different ideas, just moving the piece to safety. I'm surprised this was such a big swing, though. Oh. Be careful, your move loses a rook. Yeah, I... Okay, so I understand this now. So the reason why this is a blunder is because after he goes d6... Right, we're sort of... Uh, does he come out ahead on that trade? Yeah, so he comes out ahead on that trade. No, my frame. Okay, so I would be, what, basically up a rook here, but then he would gain a rook from this exchange, sure. So let's just see this play out. Hmm. Right. So I went from having a plus three material advantage to a, um, essentially the opponent having a plus two material advantage with that move. Yeah, I don't know why for some reason those calculations are difficult for me to calculate. I know it seems like such a easy thing, like the math on it isn't hard, but um, I don't know. Is there like a different way to just go about thinking about those calculations and uh, those exchanges. I know it's just basic math, but for some reason I just can't seem to drive it into my rather thick brain. <laughs> just throwing that out there. Okay. So the pawn push was a bad idea. So there was another way to add a defender onto g7, which was moving the queen here. Hmm. And then there was a defensive move he could have played, and then, oh, I see, I see. So he probably would have just taken the knight at this point, right? Yeah. And then h5 could have been played. Isn't that just a free pawn? Am I crazy, or isn't that just a free pawn? What is the engine going on about? F3. What does that accomplish? Takes on g5. I don't know. I know the engine wants it, but these moves are very unnatural, especially for someone uh, at my rating. Okay, so... Um, I think I'll just cut the game review here. Um, there was really just sort of like two key decisions that threw this game away here. So this knight move to g4 is probably the worst because I lost a rook out of it. So I'm going to spend some time sort of figuring out um, how to go about these calculations. Uh, I need to, I just want to remind myself sort of what he played. Okay, so he didn't take right away, but if he would have taken... That's how it would have played out. It's a bummer. I had a decent advantage up until this point. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. And then um, I don't think there was really any winning. Um, I don't think I had any winning winning chances in the end game. Um, I was just kind of playing poorly, playing poorly here, and just wasn't really able to find any good moves. There was some interesting ideas here with like pinning the bishop and stuff. Oh, there was one more move. Let's take a look at that queen move. That queen to what was it? Was here, I believe.
believe. Go back to where I had my queen. Yeah, so queen b3, that was a bit of a Hail Mary. Um, I was just hoping that there was some combination of moves that would uh, allow me to sort of pressure his his back rank. But that didn't end up happening. So I just I was more curious to see if the engine thought that this was um, egregious or not, but it looked like it didn't mind it so much. Yeah, it kind of gives up a night. Let me just see what the engine thought was the best move here. Just pushing a pawn up and it takes on d4. Or sorry, excuse me, c4, then taking on c4. Hmm. And then pushing a pawn up. Hmm. I think realistically he would have taken that since it was defended by uh defended by the knight there. And it gets rid of the pawn. Mm, but I am still defending the knight in this position. Yeah, either way, the advantage here was um, highly favored in his favor. So, yeah, a bit of a bummer game. Really, I yeah, cause so kind of threw it away in two moves. One, not recognizing the fact that he could just throw his rook willy-nilly down my back rank and really get his rook far up my side of the board. Um so I need to keep that in mind for next time. And then also just this miscalculation on the exchange where I lose a rook um, when we trade our queens off. Um, yeah, okay, cool. Well, thanks guys for watching. Um, bit of a bummer game. Um, but what can you do? That's chess. <laughs> you just learn and move on. <laughs> so see you guys tomorrow.